Hello, booktubers. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So it's that day again. It is happy, happy Friday, guys. So happy Friday. I hope you have an awesome weekend ahead. Um, I was very excited because my company started uh, summer hours uh, today. So uh, we kind of flipped the coin. So two people are allowed. This, there's four people in my um, in my group at work in my department. So very small. So we had to do two. Two people are allowed to go one Friday and two the alternate Friday. So A and B. So I picked heads. I never win coin coin toss tosses. Can't talk today. Um, and we won. So me and my supervisor, who her name is also Wendy, um, we had we got to leave early today, and then the other two get next Friday, and then we alternate to the end of the summer. So I thought that was cool. So yeah, so um, you get to leave a little bit early, and uh, so it worked out good. Um, oops, sorry about that. Okay. So um, today. Uh, on this video, we're going to chat a little bit, do our our um, end of the week wrap up, and then um, after we chat for a few minutes, I'm going to do a tag. It is a summer tag. It's from 2021. I found this tag. I'll try to see. I don't remember. They didn't really. I don't think they put down who it was who did the tag. I'll try to find it and put it below. But yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. It's not a terribly long one, and uh, in lieu of it being summer, I thought it would be fun. So, so yeah, so um, it has been um, a pretty good week. You know, Monday is was chopped off the, the beginning of the week, so it made it a little shorter, and then leaving a little early today definitely made it a good week. Um, I am still reading. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I just started it long ago, not long ago. I really can't talk today. Um, so um, yeah, it uh, it's a great book so far. I really like it. It's a, it seems like it's a quick read because the chapters are very short, um, but I really like it so far. And I'm also reading The Girl Who Drank the Moon. Uh, that one I really like as well. So those are part of the group read with MJ from Reading This Life. And uh, we talk all about everything on Discord. So it's uh, really cool. Uh, you guys should hop on over there. It's called Discord. And we talk about books. And we talk about all kinds of things. And um, it's a great way to um, be part of the, the community. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead with the uh, book tag. And so let's begin. All right. So, okay, so there is, I want to say, there is 10 prompts to this book tag. Yeah, there's 10 prompts to it. Six. Yeah, okay, so. It is actually called the Summer Book Tag of 2021. Um, it was originally found on a book tag from uh, I'm All Booked Up, which is a very cute name. Um, and so that's all I have on the information from this. It was from June of 2021. Okay, so the first prompt is a refreshing book. And I have to say, uh, the refreshing book that I I really, um, really comes to mind is the book I'm reading, and that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I think it's a very refreshing book. Um, even the, uh, the Girl Who Drank the Moon, I, those two books to me are very refreshing. Um, they have some fantasy in them, um, you know, a little bit of, um, a little bit of not horror but supposed to be a little bit spooky I guess a spooky aspect um, so yeah I think they're refreshing uh, that's the first time I've, I'm reading uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and a girl, The Girl Who Drank the Moon and I think that they are refreshing books uh, let's see the next prom is um, 
Cotton Candy, a book that was fluffy and sweet. And the book uh, that, um, it's actually not a book, but it is. It's a book of stories. And I've shown you this on my channel before, but Nothing Much Happens by Catherine Nicolai. I've recommended it. A few people told me they've started following her, listening to her podcast, got the book. She is very sleep inducive and really helps me with my insomnia. So I highly recommend that book. Uh, and it's just a very sweet book, a very sweet story. So to me, that, that always comes to mind because I, I really love that book. Uh, it's just it's a whole bunch of little stories that help you relax and they're very sweet stories. And that's the book that comes to mind. Uh, the third prompt is uh, Sunglasses, a dark book. That one's gonna have to be Dorian Gray. That was a very dark book and I really liked it. I really did like it. There are a lot of aspects about it that I liked. Um, I started to watch the movie and I didn't finish. Not the original one, that's the one that I wanted to watch. I started watching the newer one with my mom and then I forgot why we had to stop but I never went back to it, but I will because um, I heard through the years that the original movie is really good. And I always like to try to go with the originals, so let's see but I am definitely gonna finish watching it. The fourth prompt is Picnic on a Rainy Day, a sad book. For me, I mean, I've read a couple of sad books through the years, but for me, Don't Cry For Me was a really sad book. Uh, it was a, just a heartfelt book from a father to his son, a father that's dying, and I thought it was very sad, especially being a parent. So that book comes to mind. The fifth prompt is Sand, a book that irritated you. And uh, this book is going to be up there, uh, The Magnificent Dappled Sea. So I definitely uh, told you guys, I did a whole review on this book and I really, really wanted to like it, but it fell short for me and it started to irritate me and especially how the book ended. So yeah, that would have to be the book that, that I think irritated me. The sixth prompt is um, Summer Blockbuster, favorite book to screen adaption. Well, I don't know if this was a summer blockbuster, I doubt it, but um, this is one of, um, this is one of the movies that followed the book um, pretty much to a T and I absolutely loved the book and I talked about it at length on my channel and I reviewed it and that is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Um, that, I loved the book and I, I loved the movie. So, and that usually doesn't happen. You know, usually I just, uh, the book, you know, never really, the, the, the movie adaptation never really follows the book and that always irritates me. I know why they do it, but I don't like it, but this really did. And um, so I would have to say, I would have to say a tree grows in Brooklyn for that. Okay, we're up to prompt number seven, and that is Dropped Ice Cream, a book you were anticipating that wasn't good. And I know this is not going to be popular because I know a lot of people did like this book, but I, for whatever reason, I really wanted to like this book. I loved, I, I shared this with you. I loved the cover on it. It's one of the most beautiful books I have. And that is this one here, The, uh, the Strange and Beautiful Sor Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I just, it was a weird book and I guess it was supposed to be weird, but I didn't, there was things in the book that just did not have to be in there. Um, like a couple of, like there was a disturbing scene in there and I know it's a fantasy book or whatever, but I just didn't think it had to be in there. And it was just, I don't mind weird, but I just couldn't get a connection with it at, on any level. And uh, yeah, I just, it has to be that book. So, uh, prompt number eight is Palm Tree, a large book that you loved. That one I just read, I consider it a large book, and that is this one, Project Hail Mary. That book was a pretty big chunk of a book, but I, um, 
I, I really, really love the book. So, and I told you guys I did a little review on it. So yeah, I, I would say Project Hail Mary for sure. Uh, prompt number nine, Bonfire, a book that you want to burn. This is harsh, but I would probably say the lavender. Yeah, I just, that's how much I really was, I did not like the book. So yeah. Um, and, okay, so we have the, um, oh, the last one here is prompt number 10, Fireworks, a book that exploded uh, into the scene. And even though I didn't read any of the Harry Potter series, but I had like all the movies just about, um, I would have to say Harry Potter over here because uh, it did explode onto the scene and I loved, loved, loved the movies. I loved the whole story of Harry Potter. I just stopped um, following it when my children got older, but they loved the movies when they were younger. But um, I kind of stopped watching the movies and I definitely did not, not read the book. Uh, I probably would have. Uh, my kids were, you know, were younger back then, a lot younger, but um, I would say that book. Um, who's to say I won't read it one day? I don't know. It's not off the table, but I love magic and wizards and stuff like that. So that's why I always love the movies. So, so that would be that. So yeah, that is the little uh, summer uh, book tag. Um, I'm not going to tag anyone. Feel free to use it if you'd like. Um, it is just uh, a fun tag to do. And being summertime, I thought that everybody would enjoy that. So that's it. That is my, um, my video for today. Uh, end of the week wrap up on a Friday. Um, trying to think what else I had to tell you guys. I think that was it. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody had a great 4th. I wished everybody a 4th of July. That was great. Um, the dogs really did pretty well. Uh, I had the, um, I had that stuff I told you guys I bought from Amazon to calm them down and that really worked pretty well. Um, it was like melatonin in it for them and um, they did pretty well. Uh, the guy right across the street from my house started just going crazy with fireworks just as they were calmed down. So that that kind of started them off, but I had given them the stuff. So hopefully all you guys' pets did well. It's just, it really just ramps up their nervous system and I just, I hate it for that reason. I like all the pretty ones, you know? I just don't like the real loud ones, even if I didn't have a dog, but, you know, even if I didn't have dogs, I, I, I wouldn't like them. But that is it. So have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys back here on Monday. And I hope you get a lot of reading in this weekend. I'm going to try my best to get, uh, I'll definitely get reading in, but um, I don't know if I'm going to get as much as I want to uh, in, but I'm going to try. And um, I will see you guys back here on uh, Monday. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe below if you like this video. I appreciate it each and every time. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. And um, I'll see you guys later.